previous video, we've worked on circle circuit and involved a resistor and an LED. And we're just going to keep working with that here because we're going to illustrate some things about measuring current. So I have basically the same circuit going here. There's the battery going to come out of the red wire, a piece of resistor. And let's see, let's see what we come through the LED, out of the LED and back on the battery to the circuit. So I sort of change it up a bit because I want to add some things. So what we're going to do in particular, we're going to take a look at the wire here and connect this last junction right here between the LED and the return wire back to the battery for a reason that I'll show you in a minute. And now what we're going to do is we'll be sort of analyze this idea that resistors slow down current. We've said that a few times in some previous videos here, so let's see if we can sort of see if that's really truly going to happen here. So I have a 10,000 ohm resistor or a 10K resistor. I have a 100 ohm resistor. I have a 2,200 ohm resistor here. And I still have the original 100 ohm resistor sitting here just to protect the LED no matter what. So what we'll do then is let's just put each one of these resistors in return into the circuit and see what happens. Actually, I will just sort of lower these lights a bit so we can get a better handle on what the LED is. So there we go. So what we'll do, let's start with the 100 ohm resistor. We'll just put that in here so it completes the circuit between the input of the LED and the output of the original resistor. And there we go. The LED comes on and it's nice and bright, 100 ohms. So let's just sort of remember this brightness here for 100 ohms. So I'll put 100 ohm back. Let's put the 2,200 ohms in here, something that's like 20 or so higher or more resistance. We're going to slow that current down a little more. Put it in. There's the LED now. I don't know if you can see, see this in the camera so sensitive, but the LED is much dimmer than it was with the 100 ohm resistor because there's more resistance now. There's additional slowing of the current in here. The LED isn't going to get it as fast as it's making dimmer. Take that out with a 1,000 ohm resistor in there now. And if we do that, and now the LED is barely on us. You can see that on the camera just fine. So because we're getting the three resistors we have, the 10,000 ohm is the most resistance, so we're getting the maximum amount of slowing right here. So here comes the surge, the current's going to come out. And always gets slowed a little bit by this initial resistor, which we're claiming you know, is, is going to protect the LED. And it's a lot of slowing by this big resistor in the LED, it barely comes on through our jump wire background into the battery, thus completing the circuit. So what we'd like to do now then, let's return, return to the 100 ohm resistor, the one where the LED was nice and bright. Let's see if we can make a current measure. Let's see if we can actually measure how much current is traveling through the circuit. So let's sort of what I have the meter here off to the side for. You can get the meter there like that and also turn it on so we can see the contrast a bit better. And I have the two sort of clip leads taped to the area here so they won't move around. I have these other clip leads available for any use. I have the meter set on the 20 milliamp scale. And just we want it okay, over here, which is fine. It's all ready to go. 20 milliamps. And what we want to do now is we want to measure the current flowing in the circuit. But remember from our previous video, for one of those current measurements, I have to break into the flow of the, the electric current here to make that measurement. I can't just pretend like I'm going to stick these things anywhere in the circuit. I have to get into that flow. That's exactly what I want. What I put this jumper wire in for. So let's pull this out and interrupt that flow. So what is happening here is normally the charge would like to travel through these first two components here into the LED and out of the LED and into this wire and back around again. But I've taken the wire out. So you can see that the flow would like to happen if it wasn't going to be breaking the circuit. Of course, if I touch it right here, of course, the flow returns, but this is exactly the point where I'm going to insert my meter. So what I'm going to do with this, this yellow LED is I'll put it on the current that's trying to come out of the LED. I'll take the green lead here and I'll attach it to that lead. So I'm forcing the current to flow, flow through my meter. I'm forcing it to do that. So you can see the LED comes back on. And it looks like I've overflowed it in terms of the current on the scale here. So let me go to the 200 milliamps and setting like that. So you can see that the LED is on. And I'm giving it 33.7 on the meter. And that in this case here would correspond to 33.7 milliamps. That's how much current is flowing through this circuit here. And that's, that's the advantage of doing these current measurements to actually get an idea how much is flowing. So let's, let's take out the 100 ohm. And then we'll just drop that down up here, the 100 ohm here. Let 30.7 milliamps flow. Let's see if we can remember that number here. I think I'm off screen a little bit here. That's how much current is flowing. And let's just take the 100 ohm out and put in 2,200 ohm. Let's see how much current is going to flow with this resistor that's about 20 times the size in there. If you do that, the LED is dimmer. Current's dropped a lot. It's dropped from 
milliamps all the way down to about 3.2 milliamps. 3.2 milliamps has dropped quite a bit, and that's what we expect. The resistor is slowing down a lot of current, and one of the, sort of the secret truths about the resistors is that they don't get rid of the current or anything, but when those collisions happen inside the core of the resistor, it causes heat to be dissipated, so a lot of current is being the, the energy of the current is just being lost from warming the resistor and it's not available to the LED anymore. So there you go. Much smaller current. Let's just keep going here. I think we'll know what we'll get here if we get the, um, the 10,000 ohm resistor in there. I'll put one end in there and the other end here and let's see what sort of current we get. So it looks like 0.8 milliamps. I'll switch it to a more sensitive scale to get a better number on here. I'm definitely getting something smaller. Keep it on the 20 milliamp scale right there. So it looks like for this 10,000 ohm resistor, I'm getting sort of, all right, 0.74 milliamps. It's so the smallest of them all. So we see by this simple current measurement that indeed the smallest resistor allows most of the current to flow. The next largest allows a larger amount of current to flow. Excuse me, a smaller amount of current to flow, and then the largest one allows a smaller amount of current to flow. So it does appear that resistors are doing their job in limiting the flow of current in a circuit. The largest, largest resistance, the least amount of current flow. And you can see the trend is what we think it should be.